Hi there. Welcome to another uh, creative arts collaboration on YouTube with our hashtag fall theme. Uh, so if you go on YouTube and type hashtag fall followed by art journal, by painting, or by scrapbooking, etc., uh, you're going to find a whole bunch of really cool videos made by some very talented uh, friends of mine on the fall theme, or autumn, depending on which part of the world you're from. I call it autumn, I call it fall, I call it fall, I call it autumn, it's the same thing, tomato, tomato. Okay, <laughs> so I live in Canada and we have four very distinct seasons and I love that and of course I'm a proud Canadian and I do love my maple leaf flag um, and I have to tell you that I have a lot of maple trees on our property and I adore them and uh, in the fall the fall is probably one of it's probably my most favorite season uh, because of the change to me September is like a new year. It's a time of not only change, but it's like a new beginning. It's the beginning of a new school year uh, for for a good part of my life and now my children's life. And even though the fall seems quite dreary at days, uh, the one thing about living in this part of the world is that the colors of the leaves in our trees change and we are blessed by this beautiful what I call my Crayola box of colors to see and it lasts for several weeks so here I wanted to show that in one of my art journals I took this art journal and at the beginning I'm flipping through it I'm showing you I'm trying to decide which page I'm going to work on. This art journal is also my palette. I use this to wipe off my brushes, stencils, stamps, etc. whenever I'm working on other projects. I've been building up these backgrounds on these pages with this leftover art supplies for over a year now. It is almost full and I have started to make some art journal pages just because I have to. The, the pages are calling to me, the colors are saying do something with me. And I chose this page um, mostly because there's a lot of blue and I was thinking outdoors, blue skies, and in the fall we have some amazingly sunny yet cool crisp days and the sky will be like that almost the same blue that you see on the page but there will be like other colors kind of reflected in the afternoon sun because of all the leaves changing especially living in the country you we're we can see all those uh, colors even more so <clears throat> so here I drew a tree a maple tree and I made it mostly gray I know we tend to draw trees with brown trunks, but in reality, the, tr the bark of those trees is more grayish, so that's why I chose gray. I added a little bit of brown to add some highlights and shadows, uh, but I just kind of scribbled it on. The lines are wiggly, straggly, just like the bark looks on these maple trees. I And I do have a tree similar to that, right? outside my kitchen window. It's a very big, uh, very old tree. It's probably over 200 years old and it, it looks similar to that. And near the end of fall, uh, when most of the leaves have fallen, it, that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, so here I am trying to adhere these confetti leaves with some gel matte medium. Now, I'm not very successful with that because they're a plasticky type of material. So I'll drop the gel mat pretty soon and I'm going to switch over to a craft tacky glue. Oh, Aileen's is uh, my favorite, so I'm just spreading, well not spreading, but squeezing out a big blob of it onto the packaging uh, that held the stamp. 
well that whole well that holds a stamp when I'm not using it, but anyway so going back to the fall theme for me uh, not only is it about changes in the colors of the, the trees in my uh, environment but it also means uh, the geese are flying south yes the Canada geese are leaving they're getting ready to get out of here before the snow falls they don't want to shiver I <laughs> don't like it <laughs> and they're going south they're going over to our friendly neighbors in the United States and in Mexico uh, and they're going to spend their winters there and uh, they'll fly back in the spring to um, their nests and continue having other little geese but right now they're just they, they're just starting to fly south there's little groups here and there every day and we can hear them when we go outside and they're they're squawking in the sky and they tend to fly in groups uh, very often in what looks like a V formation. Uh, so I have this stamp from Magenta. Magenta uh, is a company here in Canada that has exactly that. It's a group of geese uh, just flying. And I just, I really like that stamp because it's just so much part of uh, my life. And I do use that stamp at the very top of the page. Fortunately, I have very poor video taking skills and I'm kind of out of focus there. You, I cut off that part. I, hopefully you see it better near the end of my project. So I'm just adding leaves here and there and everywhere. A bit. Uh, yes, they're hanging upside down because that's how leaves truly hang upside down. And when they fall, they rotate, they flip over, they fall every which way, and they litter the, the ground um, until we rake them up. So, uh, to see other videos by other collaborators, don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag fall. And, um enjoy watching all these videos from so many creative people <clears throat> now I'm just kind of checking out my page seeing oh does it need more or not so to see uh, the rest of my videos not miss a thing please subscribe to my channel also you can subscribe to my blog follow me there oh yeah there I was playing in the leaves haha <laughs> and there we go and that is my page uh, in the still oh you can see the geese did you see those um, you shall see, you'll see them in the still pictures thank you so much for stopping by thanks for viewing thanks for subscribing come back next month we're gonna have another theme and more videos bye